CBS News Miami Steve Majiri shows us the creative way it's trying to lure in a younger crowd. The Navy has thousands of engineering jobs that they need to fill. And as a way to attract younger people to these kinds of careers, they're letting them simulate a naval mission through the use of virtual reality. It's not quite an arcade game. This is a tracking suit, so you can actually feel what's going on around you. It's pretty interesting. But it gives Nolan Chase a real feel of a rescue mission. Left hand on the stairwell, right hand on the throttle. It's reminding him why he wanted to join the military. The back is actually vibrating. That's like the motion sensor. But he doesn't want to drive boats. He wants to fix planes. It drives pretty smoothly for a VR. Stuff like this, extractions don't always have to be on the water. They could definitely be in helicopters or in planes or whatever, and that's something I'd really like to do. The simulator is called the Nimit. It's on an 18-wheeler that travels the country. It's part of the Navy's approach towards connecting with young people as they recruit the next generation of STEM students. Now it's night vision. Which stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The atmosphere of an arcade is how they get their attention. It's more likely to get individuals to come out to participate, and at the end of that presentation, we can then talk to you a little bit about STEM programs that we offer in the Navy. Chief Petty Officer Cyril Totome says the Navy really needs more engineers for nuclear propulsion, which is how aircraft carriers and submarines are powered. If someone signs up, they usually go to school for two years, which is all paid for by the Navy. You're taught by MIT professors, you taught about power, reactor, it's state of the art, cutting edge. While Samuel Doctor knows how to use his upper body strength at the Nimitz, he'd like to use a different muscle, his brain, to help expand the use of robots in the Navy. I'm really focusing on like keeping the damage of the risk of people dying to a minimum by replacing that with like robotics instead. And Chase just wants to continue his family tradition of service. He'll follow his father and grandfather's footsteps in working with military machines. I inspire to fly or work on some sort of aircraft, and I think keeping that tradition going is definitely is definitely a big motivator. The Nimitz will be here throughout all of Fleet Week and will leave town on Sunday afternoon. At the Port of Miami, Steve Majiri, CBS News, Miami.